on the topic of being organic, uh, on the flip side, we get a lot of questions on what herbicides, well, two, twofold. What herbicides can I use on this cover crop? And then second, I, you know, maybe sprayed Roundup beforehand. How long do I have to wait before I can plant this? I know that's a kind of opening up a can of worms, but what would your response <laughs> be? And uh, Dale, I'm gonna give you two minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Round Roundup and Paraquat have no waiting period. You can, you can plan immediately. Uh, Dale, how about Liberty? Is that the same? Liberty is the same. Yes, and a lot of people are using Liberty more and more because it it kills mare's tail very well and it kills Roundup resistant pigweeds very well, as long as they're small and has no residual, um, and it's safer to the applicator than Paraquat. Um, if you add 2,4-D um, or dicamba, then your waiting period can be very long. I mean, standard rule of thumb is basically a day per ounce of 2,4-D um, and two days per ounce of dicamba. So at normal rates, that can put you out a, a week to two weeks in planning. And so um, I would definitely be planning ahead. As far as herbicides that you can put on a mixed cover crop, depends a lot on the season and the species. If you've got a particular weed issue that you're concerned about, um, just let us know and we'll see what we can come up with. Um, it's a lot better to plan the mix around uh, the need to use a certain herbicide, say one of controlled uh, fall panicum or or some, some grassy weed, we might be able to put together a mix that can all tolerate dual metolachlor. So uh, just let us know up front and, and we can work with you and, and uh, kind of design around a mix that could all be tolerant to a certain type of herbicide. Yeah, you're definitely gonna give up a lot of diversity options if you wanna use something with the residual. It's not impossible, but you're certainly gonna be limited on what you can use.